What's up guys, Lee or Jack and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Now for today's video, as you guys may be aware, Modern Warfare is only around the corner but it feels like it's forever so I'm going to help you guys out today. But here are the top 5 Call of Duty games that you guys should play if you are bored. <laughs> The first game you guys should play and you can all download now is Call of Duty Mobile. Now the great thing about Call of Duty Mobile, it isn't like your average mobile game, it actually is good. You find yourself enjoying the game more and more the more you play it. Yes it is fairly easy, I will be honest, and that does work in your favour, not for the people you're killing. However, I would recommend people jumping in, going a little snipe, having a little mess around, you can do multiplayer, you've got blackout. There's literally as many things possible to do, and it is an easy way to pass the time. Now, the downside I would have to me mention to everybody is that your phone or iPad will be losing battery pretty quick. So if you're on the move, limit how much you play, or unless you have a charger nearby, then go mad. Why not? The next game I would recommend you guys playing is Call of Duty Remastered. Now this one may come as a shock to you and something that you may not expect me to put in. However, it has a meaning behind it. Firstly, it is just a better graphics version of Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 doesn't have as many people playing right now and you get the upgraded graphics and some new stuff as well. You can enjoy the single player, which I'm doing now, which I'm doing one of my favourite bits. And it's right at the start, everyone can do it and try to get a good time on this. I suppose it's the FNG course it's called. I would recommend trying that. I still haven't got a hot, like there's some people that did it in nine seconds. I don't know how, <clears throat> but it's probably one of the very few things you want to be fast at. If you're old enough to get that joke, congratulations. You also can go online and use some of your favorite guns from Call of Duty 4 in better quality, basically. <laughs> and also the game feels good. It feels like a new Modern Warfare because it feels like when you kill somebody, you actually kill them, if that makes sense. And that's a feeling that Call of Duty guys will know. As I'm using the AK, I use the MP5, and I also use, after this MP5, some new guns as well that you can enjoy, just because, why not? Now the third Call of Duty I'm going to recommend to you guys comes as no surprise as it is one of the greats. It is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now Modern Warfare really depends on how you want to play. You can do many things, but as you can see right now I am currently trick showing, hitting a few shots, messing around, enjoying myself, having a bit of fun and that's what I spent most of my time doing on this game. However, it wasn't the only thing I did. There was a few, a few other bits that I'll get to that you can do, I'd recommend. It has a great campaign that I would recommend doing, and also one of the, one of the best endings oh, in Call of Duty what? history. Most emotional. Okay. Drop a like if you comment if you know what I'm on about. Drop a comment if you're not on about, and also let me know if you cried. I didn't cry the first time, but I cried after when I realised what happened. That's a lie. I didn't cry, but it's could I could have cried. This is something that I would recommend you guys giving a go. If you have played special ops before, then you will know what I'm on about. But if you haven't, this is something that I recommend you guys going and playing. And I suppose even if you have played it before, you know, jump back in again. It's a little bit fun. And honestly, if you haven't played it in years, like myself, it will bring up some old memories. And it is also so much fun to play different missions. If you're unfamiliar with them, 
this is something that is coming back in Modern Warfare. Um, that is, I don't know what type of theme it's going to be, but I assume it'd be similar to this. And if it is like this, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you basically have small missions that you can play co-op, so you can play with your friends, and they're all different. They're all different missions. This one here I chose is I've got to get to the finish line, but I'm trying to, I'm being stopped by many, many people on snowmobiles. So it's a lot of fun. Recommend you guys check it out. And who knows? I might try and beat your times when it comes out. For number four, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I bring you Black Ops 2. Now for Black Ops 2, you are going to get a certain type of experience, so you should know it before you start. If you want to go online and play, you will nine times out of ten get into a modded lobby, whether it's a sniper lobby, whether it's uh, some crazy mods going on, as you'll see throughout the footage in the background. It all gets pretty crazy and you, you can either choose what you want to do with that. You can even choose to mess with it and enjoy yourself as I did here. Or you can go the other way and get really angry and not want to play. Both of them are valid answers because it's oh fun God, up to a time. Oh, what the fuck? I just turned. Oh my God. I just I turned. I did you just turn and saw this plane. Did... What? What the fuck is that? Wait, hold X to X. Ah! Oh my God. Oh what my! Look up! I'm still going! Right. Oh my god, what? what? Uh, what's he building something? No, Three, seriously, I can't even see you. He just goes to the floor though. It's just a roller coaster to death. No! Go back! <laughs> no! Go the other way! <laughs> no! Oh my god, oh my god, you're going so oh. What? What the is that? What is the fuck? Why is the Titanic that? coming through? Um. No, so, jump on, jump on, jump on! Oh, I speed enough. Look There's another the Titanic coming back. Oh, there's two Titanics. Uh, They're gonna crash. They're gonna crash. Uh, uh, I'm, oh stuck. My God. I'm stuck. I'm oh stuck. My God. I'm stuck in between the two. Oh, wow. Oh, what happened there? Why is that one just spinning around? <laughs> And lastly, you may find yourself wanting to change yourself, so you can play against bots. Now, I wouldn't yes. recommend playing against normal what? bots on multiplayer. What I'd recommend you doing is turning them up to what veteran, the, the hardest difficulty, and challenging yourself. It'll probably take you a week or two weeks to get used to it. And before you know it, Modern Warfare will be out, so it's the perfect way to do it. Or get really angry. Coming in at number five, I bring you guys, that may be a shock, the newest Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 is something that I normally wouldn't choose, but I thought to myself, it is the way new games are kind of played, and it's a good game to get used to, it's a good game to play if you just want the everything new and updated, and just like, you know, sometimes people just like to play the newest of something. It's not actually too bad, you can go around sniping, there's some new guns on it, unfortunately they're quite difficult to get because of the system, that is a downside. However, if you do manage to get into them, it's quite fun. However, the one thing that I would recommend to you guys that is a lot of fun with either on your own or with your friends is Blackout. As you can see here, me playing Blackout, getting the win, actually, as it goes. It is something a little bit changing, a little bit different, especially if you're used to playing other Battle Royale games. But it is a great addition and something that I didn't play enough of, but I, every time I did play it, it was a lot of fun and I wish I had more time to play it more.